Mindful Life Practice Community. All right, um, let's get started in a child pose. So we're gonna come onto the hands and knees and rest the forehead. Drop into stillness, drop into the present, drop into your shape. Take some deep breaths in and out. So our shoulders are one of the hot spots where we carry a lot of our tension and our stress. And today we're gonna move through a balanced practice, a little bit of a flow, a little bit of stillness to, to stretch out that space. So from your child's pose, just walk your hands over towards the right and stretch through the left side body and just rest the forehead. And then can you walk your hands back through center and then walk your hands over towards the left and breathe into the right side body. And then come all the way back with the arms and then take a breath in, come all the way up to a table just draw your knees in, leave your left palm where it is. Let's take our right arm up towards the sky. So a big stretch and then thread your right arm underneath the left, land onto the right cheek, the right shoulder. And then maybe you lift the left arm up and just wrap it all the way around. And then come all the way back with the left palm and come all the way back up into your table. And then we'll go the opposite way. So we're gonna take our left arm all the way up and then thread our left arm all the way under. And then maybe wrap the right arm around, the right arm around looking in your head. Come all the way back through center with the palms. And then just press through the palms, tuck your toes, make your way up to a down dog. And we'll just bend through one knee and then bend through the next, pressing through the heels. Leave your left foot where it is, lift your right arm, right leg all the way up, sorry, not your right arm. And then pull your right knee in and then can you step the right foot between the palms? Nice, and then we're just gonna land onto the left knee and sweep the arms all the way up so you're in this low lunge. And then open your arms wide into cactus arms. And can you weave the right arm underneath the left and then either grip opposite shoulders or weave the forearms together, just high-fiving the hands. Take a few breaths in your eagle. And then lift and sweep your arms up towards the sky. Big breath in. One more shoulder stretch here. Land your right palm. Take your left palm onto your right elbow. I'm just going to rotate. Oopsies. <laughs> so you see what I'm doing. And then either stay like this, or you might release the palm and weave it all the way around, making a connection, fingertips together. Release your grip and unwind, sweeping both arms up, big breath in. And then just bring your palms down to frame your right foot. Nice, let's tuck our left toes and lift our left knee. 
and then step your right foot back to meet your left, finding your strong plank. Five, four, three, two. And then on one, just flow your way through a vinyasa. Nice, coming all the way back up to your down dog. And then preparing for the opposite side. So big sweep up with your left leg, inhale. And then pull your left knee in, step the foot between the palms, and then come onto your right knee. And then we'll lift both arms up. Open our arms in the cactus. And then same thing as we did on the opposite side. So left arm wraps all the way around. You might high five the hands, take your eagle. And then unwind the arms, take a big stretch up. And then land your left palm onto your right shoulder, right palm onto the left elbow. And then either stay here taking this stretch or weaving the palms around, hooking the fingertips, and then just making a connection. Release the grip, sweep your hands up, inhale. Hinge the palms forward, plant the palms, tuck the right toes, lift the right knee, step your left foot back to meet your right, strong plank, five, four, Three, two, nice one vinyasa all the way down. Beautiful, lifting all the way up, down dog. Stepping your feet in, stretching through the calves. And then let's just do one more standing flow before we drop into our yin shapes. So we'll take our right leg up, three-legged dog. Pull the right knee in, step the right foot between the palms, lift all the way up into a crescent. Nice, and then open up into a warrior two. So reach your right arm forward, left arm back, and then sweep your palms behind you, interlace the palms, breathe in, and hinge your heart forward so you're in this humbled, Warrior, dropping your forehead down towards the yoga mat. And then lift all the way up with both palms and the heart and unwind the arms. Take an inhale, reverse the warrior. And then just windmill palms to the mat, frame the foot. Nice, one more time, step the right foot back. Move through your flow. Lifting all the way up into your down dog. Inhale your left leg up. Draw your left knee in, sweep the left foot between the palms and lift all the way back up into your crescent on this side. Landing your right foot. And then send your arms backwards, breathe in, lift your heart, and then hinge your body forward, humbled warrior. And we'll press through the feet, lift all the way back up. Release through the arms. Take an inhale, reverse. And then an exhale, windmill palms to the mat, framing the foot. Nice, step back, one more vinyasa flow. And then just come to land on the knees. Nice. So we're going to do two things at once. We're going to do shoulders and soles of the feet. So you're going to keep your toes tucked and sit your bottom back on your heels. And then we're going to stretch through the traps muscles while also stretching through the soles of the feet. So if you are uncomfortable with the toes tucked at any point, I'll just turn so you can see what I'm doing. 
You can also untuck the toes and just sit like this. All right, but if this is okay, stay. Drop your right earlobe down towards your right shoulder. And then maybe taking the right arm up, plant it on the side of the skull. And I'm gonna flip this two minute timer. So we're gonna hold this for two minutes on either side. And this is part of the body where we really hold our tension. So just be present with and breathe into whatever arises for you. the knowledge that we're not going to be here forever. Just a few more breaths. I lied, maybe more than a few more breaths. <laughs> Watching the sand drop out of our timer. Can you just be present with the discomfort and sensations? Two minutes is up, let's lift up. And then if you're okay with staying on the tuck toes, stay. And if you need to just take a little break, go ahead. And then when you're ready, we're gonna take it into the opposite side. Flipping the sand timer, dropping the left earlobe, anchoring the left palm on the side of the skull. Can you be present with the discomfort? Present with the sensations. Just let them show up and be there. knowing that you're not gonna be here forever. But can you breathe into this discomfort? Can you be present with this discomfort? Breathing. Two minutes is almost up. And then lift all the way up, just bring the head up. Untuck the toes, you can massage it out, paddling out the feet. Nice, and then just come all the way down onto your belly. Extend your right 
arm long on the mat. And then you're gonna push through your left palm to just slowly lift up. This is called broken wing pose and you might lift your left arm up and wrap it around or you might just leave your left palm where it is. And again, we're gonna be here for two minutes. I myself find yin poses extremely challenging. because I feel like everything shows up. Boredom, discomfort, frustration. You're dealing with all sorts of emotions and sensations and things. And you're forced to kind of use your breath and breathe into the present moment. And just be with it. You stay for a few more inhales, a few more exhales. And then just slowly unwind. And then let's bring our body into the other side, extending through the left arm, pushing through the right palm, just rotating it around. I'll flip our timer. Two minutes on this side. What do you learn from slowing down and being silent and still? What do you hear when you listen? What do you feel? Can you stop? Take a few more breaths. Nice, and then just slowly unwind. We've made it to the end of our short and sweet practice. So we're gonna flip our way around and then just rest into a Shavasana. 
either with the feet and the legs extended or the soles of the feet connecting. Place one hand on the heart and one hand on the belly. I learned this week that this practice is called self-holding. You just hold yourself in this moment. Notice like if anything moved and shifted throughout it. Positivity into my life every day. Please pray positivity into my life every day. Please bring only joy and peace and everything that is love. Please bring only joy and peace and everything that is love, please pray positivity into my life every day. Give your body a little bit of a wake up wiggle. Finding a nice sweet stretch through the body. Curling the knees into the chest, giving your body a nice little hug. And then just make your way up to your cross-legged shape with your palms at your heart center. And we close with an intention, the ancient intention, but the original intention. Passed from heart to heart through thousands of years. And it's that our practice remain steady and our efforts remain continuous and our yoga serves and benefits all beings everywhere. May all beings be safe, happy, healthy, free, May the thoughts and actions of each of our lives contribute towards this. So we'll finish with an OM. We're going to inhale and exhale. Inhale through to make the OM. So a big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Oh. so much for joining me for sharing this space and the practice this morning the light in me it sees and honors the light in you namaste